everybody. Before we go into, I know I'm going to do like usual lecture. Uh, no, not that kind of thing. The exercise. I was just wondering. We're going to do a powerful exercise that some of you have already tried. But if did you try? Were you here last time? It looks so familiar. Um, anyway, uh, basically, it's your it's an arm exercise that will change your perception in less than a minute. Um, and it's that fast. You've tried it several times. But um, basically, before we do that, I'm going to give another few minutes since they said about 12.20. But, but yeah, go ahead, of course. Um, but basically, um, I want to ask anybody if they've got any questions. No? Uh, worries? No? OK, we're going to go into little signs at the moment. But this is not here. There are a few people here. So signs that I'm going to come up with is called phase five. And I've, I don't know if you saw the videos. But we're seeing a bit more. Who's been um, finding that they're a bit more, what can I say, not angry, but they're sparking, their anger's going from a tiny bit to quick, you know, very sparking high, very, very quickly. Anybody? Yeah. And also, who's been um, finding that they're in, it's a different kind of fear. It's not fear as in, oh, I'm feared of, afraid of everything but they're fearing small little things in their lives. Are you finding that? No? A tiny bit? But they're um, not, I'm not talking about the economy or things like that, but little fears. Who's been clearing their closets out? Anybody? Yeah, that's a biggie. Nearly everybody does that. And I know it sounds weird, but uh, that's one of the big signs because what we're in is called phase five, and there are far more signs, but phase five is where you're clearing your closets um, it's clearing, cleansing, and addressing issues from your past. So in that same line, who's here been having weird, innocuous memories, memories from your past that you never really had before, remembering things? No? Usually a lot. And you, you know why? Because again, these are issues that you may be needing to look at and address, and not anything horrible, but just saying, okay, have I, have I grown? And this is an important question. Who here believes that they are not the same person they were two months ago? That they've changed that much, right? They, that, that's a biggie. And we are in a massive evolution. We're changing rapidly. And I'm not talking, oh, look, my skin's changed. I'd love that. You know, I'm going to look so old or something. But no, especially women. <laughs> we kind of obsessed with that. But basically, it's nothing to do with that. It's about how our attitudes are changing that rapidly, right? Is that true? Mm -hmm. So basically, what we are going through, as I said, is this cleansing and clearing. And even though we are talking about the predictions, which quite frankly are up there. Hi, good morning. Oh, okay. But um, we're talking about the predictions for 2014, but really beyond. Um, you know, we've been having a lot of, obviously, tornadoes. Unfortunately, the predictions I gave um, on the 1st of January a lot have come true, um, and you, I hate to say the tornado activities only just started. So, uh, as I did say last year, two, three EF5s, and there were two, but there were actually three. Alvina was an F5. They still are having, um, the weather people are, um, meteorologists are having arguments about it, because they sh it should have been an EF5. So anyway, um, and then the late snow, we actually had snow about a week and a half, two weeks ago in Chicago. <laughs> so that all came through, I'm afraid. Um, we are more or less done with it. We're going to have excessive, you think heat was bad last year? It's going to go worse this year. So we are looking at droughts. I've said about the um, unusual floods that are coming into Texas. It's all outlined in the DVD, uh, I've got DVDs for the presence the people on the workshop today, but basically it's all up on YouTube and there is a sign-in sheet if you want and everything's there. You can um, check it, you know, go and check that out. Um, last year I got about 98%, I think, right, unfortunately, because kind of you call me Debbie Doom because I go and concentrate on the, um, you know, real things. But I do believe that why I'm trying to share with you certain things, it's about um, being prepared Right. If you know that, hello. Being, if you know that there's either a tornado or an earthquake, unfortunately that's been coming true. 
uh, quite a bit. Um, if you know that it's coming, you can be prepared, right? So the fear of something like that is taken away, correct? Mm -hmm. um, so I did say last year, well, last year and this year, for this year, that you will see far more higher, um, you know, yeah, not yet. Sorry, higher levels of earthquakes, and we're getting into the eights, right? Correct. Uh, high seven sixes are nothing now. You know, there was a six yesterday, um, and sixes are nothing, and they're coming into eights, and they're going to get larger, I'm afraid. Um, and I did say that we're going to increase the activity here, um, and all of it's on the YouTube. I was trying to be detailed. That's why it's so long. But what the earthquakes activity? Just quickly is on the east coast but it's called drop h so it's in there and in the middle who's noticed a lot of earthquakes in uh where is it ohio is it Oklahoma. 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 Yeah. yeah and that is not necessary it's not fracking to be honest and it's not the madrid fault by the way but also in the east coast you'll be getting more um you will see that actually unfortunately up in um, the seattle area um there was a 6.6 .6, mm -hmm. um off the coast here of the West Coast about, what, in March, I think it was. And um, they're going to be far higher, but more um, into British Columbia. And uh, that's going to affect the fault line down, coming down, all right? Um, we are going to see more activity in Hawaii, unfortunately, it started. Um, so just on a quick review, uh, I did say that there was going to be big, much bigger earthquakes in um, Latin America. So South America, and unfortunately it did happen, it's going to continue. Um, but it's really, what's going on is the plates moving, shifting up. Um, as for San Diego, they'll get more than we are, but we are going to experience more, but nothing catastrophic. And we're not going to drop in the ocean, if anybody's worried. <laughs> Seriously, that was one of the questions. <laughs> that was the last one. <laughs> And we get well, as um, some of my clients uh, always ask me, please let us know when you decide to move from California. <laughs> you know, why? Would you at least give us where you're going and why you're going? So, you know, and that's, a, that's not a joke, they actually do get obsessed about it. Um, so basically, uh, it is going to, it's all changing. So what we're experiencing, other than just, and this is what really happened from 2009, I've been doing the predictions, that have been coming true is because it is not a just a, oh it's just uh, changes it's a shift in energy we're all in a shift a change of energy but it's a dual shift we are also experiencing other than that shift we're experiencing um a terraformer of the planet does anybody know what a terraformer is mm -hmm. a terraformer is a, a literally a renewing of the planet and that is why we're experiencing far more earthquakes higher earthquakes we are seeing the weird weather. When the earthquake happened in Japan, it moved the axis of, um, our, of the Earth a few degrees, and that's affected it too. But that's not the only reason. So we are going to experience far more earthquakes and life-changing terraformer events, okay? Um, we, how can I, I hate to say Japan's going to just keep on continuing with theirs, um, which is kind of sad. Um, there could be, um, there's going to be heavy tornado activity. Uh, it's been relatively quiet. I said that in the video. We warned that from January through July, through July 2nd is the top mark, the bottom mark there, that it's going to be relatively quiet. And, you know, news, people say, oh no, there's always news. But quite frankly, a friend of mine, actually he's the president of NBC4, so they thrive on that kind of thing. He doesn't personally, but quite frankly, the NDC does. But they thrive on negative events, right? But um, you wait until July, mid-July, the second, end of second week to third week, and a lot of things are gonna change. You're gonna see a lot of activity, tornadoes, I'm talking about um, the two, another two EF5s. Um, and I did say that it's going to be far more in clusters of F2s and F3s more than fours. Okay, and that has happened, I'm afraid. Um, that is going to continue. And I did um, talk about it about three years ago, that, you know, the uh, they call it Tornado Alley. It's no longer an alley. It's moving towards the East Coast, and it has. And I predicted the um, tornadoes even in uh, Arizona, which happened. 
Um, and Pennsylvania, they have tornadoes. We've had tornadoes here, which I predicted. Uh, we are going to get a hurricane, can you believe it, in the east, west coast here. It won't touch it. We nearly did come close to it a few weeks ago, but quite frankly, I am seeing a hurricane. Um, mostly nearer San Diego than here, so you're okay. You don't need to get storm supplies, but um, you will see that. Um, and uh, it's all about this chain, the diversity, and also the heat predictions, I'm afraid. They're going to even go above two to three over what they were yet last year. They're already exceeding that in certain cities, right? Um, I'm afraid that's also changing. Um, but what I'm talking about also is, other than the, as I said, the terraformer, we are experiencing a lot more changes within our cells. Now, I'm going to do an exercise which is kind of signature for me, and I'm sure, some, I know some of you have already done it, but if you want to do it, in less than a minute, I'm going to show you how you can grow. And I'm dope for the women especially, you're not going to grow this way, so don't worry. And we're going to grow in our perception, okay? And you can actually use this exercise for visualization and using it in your own, um, how can I say, in your own life to do anything, even you, okay? So, um, well, who's left-handed, anybody? Okay, two lefts. Okay, what left hand's going to do, you're going to actually look at your left hand and the middle finger. Everybody else, you look at your right hand on your right, um, right, finger, right finger on the right hand. I'm going to do it quickly before you do it, so you can see. So what you're going to do is stretch out your arm, and you're going to twist as far as you can go. Mark how far you've gone, come back and drop your hands. Okay, go ahead. I stand up, take some space, don't take in with eye out. <laughs> And just go ahead. That's right. Now twist as far as you can. Don't hurt your back. Look at your right hand. If you're right, no, go right and right. Okay, right. Okay. And then just twist as far as you can go. Come back to center and drop your hands. Close your eyes. Do not do it physically. And now I want you in your mind's eye to go all the way around and even twice if you want. Only in your mind. Don't do it physically. Don't do it physically. Okay. Just do it, visualize, and then all the way around, and then all the way back, and open your eyes. Okay, great. Now, when you've opened your eyes, do it again physically and see where you land. It should be much further than you all did, I think. Yeah. Right? Yes. Everybody? Thank you. You're my lab rats. No. <laughs> no. But see, in less than a minute you did that. See how powerful you did, right? See how powerful that is? Now, I'm going to actually expand it in the workshop tonight, but quite frankly, I sold, showed this to um, a neighbor of mine, and he's um, from China, and he's uh, about seven, eight years old, and he, um, I told it to him about for basketball. And he changed the basket, and he's very small, I'm afraid, uh, for his size, and they changed it to the regulation size, which is like eight feet, I think, right? something like that. So it was hard for him to put the ball in. So we did the visualization exercise, and I said, okay, visualize you throwing perfect hoops, perfect hoops, you know, dunking the ball every single time. And he sat there for five minutes, and he said something to his mother in Chinese, and I said, no, it's not time yet. How does she know that? She doesn't speak Chinese. <laughs> I know a lot. So anyway, see, he was so cute. He was like, oh, how does she know? So anyway, um, after that, we all four got up and we went to the hoop, and this is not a lie. I wish I had the camera running. One, two, perfect shots. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, non-stop. Then he started hesitating because he started thinking, not automatic. He dropped the ball. And then I said, just to close your eyes, visualize again. He went in, and it was perfect hoops. He did out of 38, he missed three. Wow. And it wasn't just dead on. He'd never, ever done any hoop on the side. He just, it was boring. It was just going one in after the other. And we were just excited. So you can see, children, right? You have a far more powerful mind than even us. Did you know that? So you should use it. And he does it for homework. And um, he gets, you know, he's getting coming into A's now. So he's using that. And it's your mind does not know the difference between an actual event and a made-up event. So if you give it garbage, guess what? You're going to get garbage back, right? 
So you tell them yourself that you can do it. You're not too keen on sciences, is that true? Do you like science? Or you do like science? Or you don't? Okay, not too sure. Okay, but anyway, but he, this one um, thinks a lot, does he? Overthinks too much. And he worries a lot, right? You don't need to, you're very good. And he seems just to, just get relaxed, okay? August is going to be a great time for you, by the way. It's really fun, I don't know what you're doing, but you're having a good time. Um, so anyway, basically, try and use this exercise in anything. And, you know, a lot of people say, oh, can I go to Las Vegas and do it for the month? I said, do whatever you want. You know, it's your mind can draw it. And we, seriously, you know, they want me to go with them. No, I'm not going to do that. But you can do it. And people are using that, not for that frivolous thing, but the things, the events in their life that they want, people, what they want. Now, there's a thing called the cattle lesson, which I'm not going to give you at the moment because we've got a short time. But basically, what I want to do is to really um, go in more on the phase five and do some reading. Um, would you say, um, the gentleman in the back, um, do you study a lot? Do you do a lot of studying? Yeah, you seem to concentrate on your very varied subjects, but there's one, one, one phenomena that you really are intrigued with. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, and that you, um, you have a weird sense of humor, very unusual. It's, yes. it's kind of like a bit British. It's kind of unusual. Um, have you been trying to make a decision in the last three months? Yes, very okay. much. By the way, to tell my fiancé that um, you can't lie to me, so you get very, very nervous when I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> um, he still does, and he's in my husband now. So anyway, um, so basically, you need to, uh, sometimes, you know, and this is why people come to me for readings. One, I'm brutally honest, so don't even bother to come to me if you don't want to hear the truth, okay? But basically, um, you, what I'm trying to tell you is that you need to realize that you, sometimes when people are so confused or in trouble, they don't go, um, they don't, they get so confused that they see, don't see the forest and the possibilities, they only see the tree in front of them. And some of you are so confused, you're kissing the bark instead of even doing anything else. You're so frustrated, all right? So you need to kind of back off. You seem to be, are you working on a book or something? With a book? A book? No. You seem to be very knowledgeable of so many things that you could even write a book. Yes. And, but you, you're very, um, you know, this is not a negative thing, opinionated. In other words, you've got very set opinions. And those beliefs have actually been proved correct. Correct? Yes. That you can write a book. But you've been putting things off because you don't feel that people want to hear you. Um, you... I really feel that if you do something like that, you will be heard quite a bit. I want um, to. Yes, good, because I really, by November, I think you should be writing that book. Uh, don't hold any opinions back, even though some of them are really um, controversial is a good word. That's a very conservative word, but controversial, is that right? That's right. So I really would strongly recommend you do that. Um, we can't tell you what to do, I don't care who's down there out there. We're not allowed to tell you what to do. This is whose life, not mine, right? It's yours. So you make your decisions and then you do it from then on. Now, Sheena, I also want to let people know I'm the one that's going to interview on the red radio show. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, no, no, okay. I'm sorry. I want to let you know that I'm going to have her on the show either the 21st or the 28th this month, if you're available, of July. Ju no, June. 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 June, that's right. The 21st or 28th of June. If not, then the first week of July. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Our dates that you, you are I've never met That's all right. No. Yeah. And I'm, I have a show on, uh, it's online, it's prn.fm. Be happy to tell more. And, and, and he's, um, uh, actually, we just talked on the phone. I had completely forgot. I get into reading and doing this, you know, <laughs> this and that's what happens with me. But, um, yes, we did talk briefly, but his um, sub subjects are very controversial. And um, not exactly like George Norrie to be, no offense to him. It's a bit uh, far more focused, I think. Yeah, the name of the show right? is Let's Create a Better World. That's it's all about right. activism and what we can do, and also about healthy aging. About health and aging and, and just a lot of things. Yeah. Good things. Really. And I'm going to obviously put his information on my um, yes. next mailing and my web, not, the website's kind of down at the moment. I've got Be sure to hear, hear her on the radio. She's wonderful. Yeah, I do usually do readings as well. 
So, um, but thank you, Bobby. Lovely to meet you. So, sorry. I guess I'm not that psychic. I didn't know who he was there. <laughs> <laughs> they protected him. Sorry. British sense of humor. Okay. Um, so, basically, uh, what we need to do is to really start um, investigating what we want. And this is what this phase five is about. And I will send the links to phase five. The book I'm doing is, you know, I don't know about anybody here, but who loves those books who, you know, those self-help books that, oh, this happened and that's going to happen and this is going. So they're putting you into fear and, you know, you could do this, but they don't give you any exercises to counter it, to under, uh, not only that exercise, but explain it why. Now that's what the book's about. It'll show you about control. Who's here? Now, I know who you are, by the way. Who are the controllers in this room? Yeah, come on. I know, I'm looking at it. <laughs> um, you're right. He's, he's not there. He's not going to say anything. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's learned, right? <laughs> Let go of the leash, control what you want, and I'll be okay. <laughs> you know, it's a really good, you know, the, the, it's a friendship more than anything else that you two have. It's just so um, hugely foundational. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Only because you know just to shut up. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not picking on him. No, he really, he really, you have a great relationship. <laughs> but um, the controllers, now I hate to say this, because of phase five, Guess what? We're going into such a major, major time, and as I said, July is dangerous. July is going to see so many events come in that it's going to um, be far more politically active. Mm -hmm. There's going to be another revolution that's going to affect. Um, there's going to be far more um, extreme weather. You think snowballs the size of this is bad, you have no idea what's coming in. Um, it's going to be far more on the um, heat as well as the drought, so it's the, um, the counter effects, I hate to say it, so even though one is, and it's going to vicillate from, even though you're, you know, you've got a, a drought here, it's going to be, then about two or three weeks later, especially in the Midwest, I hate to say, it's going to be um, a deluge of rain, these unusually heavy rains coming in. Um, it's already happening, this is all what I've said on the predictions. Um, it's, um, you're going to find, as I said, um, if, so the people who were here before, uh, I had requested who here has been finding that their anger is just like a rocket, fire at works, going from nil to zero. Is that true? No? From you? Mm -hmm. um, it you was control. last year, but yeah. I've actually... You pulled it in a bit. I've let go. Yeah. I, I've let go of control. But you... Um, February was a hugely significant time in your life, is that true? Well, December, January, and February yeah. were pretty intense. Life changing. Yeah. yeah. But February it seems you turned around a lot. Um, That's let go. when my recovery started, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's but your full understanding or at least a, a level of understanding came to you around about March, is that true? Mid March? Uh, new clarity, I guess, new, yes. a new beginning. Understanding yeah. clarity. And, you know, this is what it's about this year. It's about if you let go and you um, let, don't be so harsh on yourself. I hate to say it's the controllers who are overcritical about themselves and they expect too much of themselves. And therefore, they actually expect far too much of themselves as opposed to anybody else in their life. They do want more from everybody else. But it's themselves that they have to, they tend to look too much to and that's what I get worried because uh, I hate to say it um, I did uh, last few years I uh, predicted that there was going to be a lot more suicides uh, shootings on 12 12 12 I did a video um, that I kind of isolated and mm, uh, I didn't want to say it but I it was for a radio show and I said it was going to be um, a lot more shootings and uh, while I was on the radio show that's when Newtown happened. So, and it's been, this last year was horrible. This year is going to, I said in the predictions, it's going to just get worse. Unfortunately, yesterday and the last week, and it's just going to continue. And the same age group, I said, too, up to 28, yeah, up to 28 down. And they are the ones. Um, so, you know, it's as if, remember, when you can't have control, you, um, let me teach you quickly about control, if I may. 
Um, it's a, basically attached to fear, right? Yes. When you don't have control, you are in fear. And fear is usually of the unknown, right? So when you try and control a situation, mm -hmm. you, find, you will find that you have no control over it. The more you try and control a situation, the less control you have over it. Is that correct? Yes. Right? So what you have to do is what this gentleman is saying, let go. And it's easier said than done. For a controller, that is like the worst possible. I mean, my God, you might as well put you in a, in a rubber room, right? Because, you know, it's going to affect to that much. But it is hard, and that is what fear is. And the more you fear something, the more it will manifest in your life. Remember that exercise? Yeah. Your mind is a magnet. And if your mind, if it, um, if you obsess about something in a negative way, like you worry a lot, right? Don't you? And the more you worry, it gets worse, doesn't it? And so you have to just let go. You can't control it, right, sweetie? No. So when you let it go, you'll see all these wonderful things coming to you. And you've got some good friends. You've got three good friends. Isn't that right? So you can't lie to me. <laughs> and you, those three good friends always back you up, right? You back each other up. So all you need is a good family, which you have a fantastic family, right? And then you'll see that everything's going to be having a, one of the best summers you've ever had in your life. All right? I'm pretty right. Okay? You can let me know later. <laughs> all right. So basically, it's going to be, um, it's going to be an, kind of an awesome time, but it's a changing time. And that's all the what I'm trying to do is to teach everybody about is just don't so be so intense on looking at the tree and you'll see this wide expanse. Um, you've got, how can I say this? Um, you do have several decisions you need to make. Is that true? Me? No, actually. Uh, yeah. Me? <laughs> there yeah. are three decisions that are coming up for you. Isn't that true? No, not really. There are three. Look at them. They, they don't really give me inaccurate information. They're not huge, my life-saving, you know, life-changing decisions. But does that make sense? Anyway, um, think about it. But okay. wants to work, wants to to a personal. Okay. But it's a really about in and in March you seem to have changed. You release the reins of control. Well, yeah. Sometimes you want to control what happens to your children. Sometimes you. Like, oh. You haven't learned that one yet? <laughs> um, I, <can> watch <laughs> I know it once, but still it's not even Yeah, and then you try and control that. No. <laughs> you have three? Did you lose one? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. That's why I always see three. Anyway, um, yeah, one is uncontrollable. <laughs> one is really uncontrollable, right? Yeah. Yeah, the other one's kind of laid back, but does control everybody else. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he controls it, but it's sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the trickster. But yeah, that. But you just need to let go. You'll be okay. I just have a question. You yes, know, please. You, you know, all of this is going on with all of the people committing suicide and all of these tragedies. A lot of tragedies happening. Why is that? I know you said that our world is changing. But how are these things going to change the world? Okay, well, this all right, so if we live in a, um, and basically not everybody knows I teach about 88 classes, but that's what really I'm doing, doing. But what happens is, if we just exist, not in a vacuum, right? These two ladies here, you've been here, you've experienced a lot in your life, correct? And if you, would you say that all the bad events in your life were um, succeeded afterwards to the best times in your life? Would you agree with that? Some of the best? Hmm. But because you appreciated it more, right? What happened after the bad? In other words, what happens, all our challenges in our life, um, makes us, forces us to think. Now we are, and this is what I always say, we tend to, especially here in Europe and America, okay, not in Asia so much, but Basically, we've got our little security blanket, our little blankie, and we're happy. We've got our remote control to the TV and the remote control to the you know, microwave, got food on hand and drink. We're happy. And that's all we care about. 
all right? But life will start challenging you. Health issues, who's been going, that's another big thing, health issues, who's been ha having health issues nonstop, or, um, and medi um, not only medical, but um, legal issues. In two weeks, I had five probate, um, um, to do with probates. And these are all, they don't need, none, nobody knows about each one, but five horrendous situations. You never even think of it, it would happen five in one week. But these are all the legal, they're all car crashes, computer crashes. Who's been experiencing those? These are all part of the signs, they're all there in the face five videos. Um, this, so this is not what you're saying is this is all going to start making people think and becoming yes, more aware and maybe possibly becoming more loving. Well, let's not get too crazy because quite frankly it's going to take time for that. Yeah. Uh, and it's not going to be a, a yeah. splash of miracle is going to happen. Then but it makes us think. Exactly. And why is reality TV being far more uh, prominent now? Because people are not into the, oh, the love. And, you know, people mm -hmm. say, oh, wild well, Darshini, you know, you see all these events. Well, we'll just send out love. Okay, all right, whatever you want. I'm a realist. I'm, um, I don't mess around, I'm brutally honest in my readings. I, don't, um, I tell you whether you, look, you know, if you're there for a reading, by the way, don't. If you think, oh, I'm a reader who's like, is Johnny gonna love me tomorrow, little 17 year old? No, go away. I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so I am more the, you know, for the person who wants to really know what's going on in the business, whatever, personal life, it's really a hard reality. But the why, it's called the pendulum effect, and I'm talking about it in the Epoch Succession, the big book, and it is. Everything has to go into an extreme before we get realize that things have to change. You know, we are creatures of nature. We want something comfortable until things start getting, oh God, I'm in a, um, I'm in a coffin. I guess I have to rethink my situation. That would drive you crazy. Um, you know, really, <laughs> you have to change your situation. If you can't, um, you know, and if you can't, uh, if you ha it's not about control, and the control has to change, by the way. Mm -hmm. And I just wrote that chapter yesterday, or well, two days ago. I was actually oh, had an operation. Some more shootings, right? Mm -hmm. like, some more shootings. shootings. Yes. So I saw this going to Irvine, and there was a shooting there. Yes. So I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> no, but the thing is, you make him away, you discuss with him, uh -huh. you take the fear away, and that's one thing with this gentleman. You take the fear. Now, one thing I know that he's very quiet, too quiet sometimes. If you talk about it, you, it's like, okay, here's my fear. Red, 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 fear, 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 right? But if I share it with mom or anybody else who, lo who loves me, grandma or something, I don't have that fear anymore because I didn't give it away, but it's no longer existing. Does that make sense? So you have to talk about it. And some of the fears, it's not to be laughed at, it's, they're real fears, but you just have to let go, okay? And you'll see a lot of differences, but you have to have that confidence that these are experiences that they have to um, experience, otherwise you won't be the person you are if you didn't have all those challenges in your life, right? You've had quite a few challenges, yeah, but it I shaped don't. you to who you are, right? Sure, sure. And even though you're a bit hard on one of them, the children, that you are teaching them what you endured, but they don't get it, I hate to say, no offense, this... They don't and get it. <laughs> if it's not on this little thing, no, it doesn't no. exist. No, so, you know, that's what I'm sadly afraid of. But you will see, but in the next 12 to 15, even 17 years is the top end, those changes are gonna be massive. And we have to endure them. And it's not a tsunami, and yes, there will be tsunamis, uh, but we're not going to talk about that. But there are tsunamis in our own personal lives that we have to address and look at. But if you, again, realize how much do you think quickly, um, you can raise your hands, how, much, how many of you think that you can control somebody else, say, you control yourself, you can have control in your life 100%, all right, 90%, 80%? Sixty. Forty. I knew the control would stop. They can't. <laughs> you just walked into that. You just walked into that. I'm sorry. And you walked into it. But it's always the control. So I can't stand this. I have to say something. I'm sorry. 
I pick on the logics and the controllers. I just love that. Um, you know, as she knows, I always pick on those in the classes. But basically, um, it's about not even about 15% to 20. Now, that would drive you crazy, but when you think about it, you go out, you control your dress, you shower, brush your teeth and everything. You go out. Yes. You know, a plane can drop on the sky, have a last week, right, Harriet Chuck. And then, you know, it could be an out car accident. What control do you have? No. So is it worrying about it? Is it going to change you, change your life? Or is it going to just close everything for your life? Close it. Exactly. <laughs> so just let it go and you'll see that even everything else is going to, it'll come. But observe, and this is why this book, all those books, actually there are going to be several books, but these first two books are going to make you work, whether you like it or not. You're going to have a ton of exercises, but I want your input because I'm trying to make you grow and have more confidence in your own. Who's been having um, more entities visit them or being present? That's going to increase, by the way. Um, who's been finding that they're feeling far more, um, far more, ooh, uh, their predictions are coming true and their intuitives are increasing, right? That is going to increase big time. And I'm uh, not, a few of you know, I'm a claircognitive, and a claircognitive, a medium, speaks to people on the other side who have passed over. A clairvoyant receives messages, yes, oh, uh, receives messages from people who, um, sorry, um, clear, I'll see, where was I, clairvoyant, I thought you had a question, clairvoyant, it receives messages through pictures, a clear audio hears it, clear sent it, feels it. Okay, I'm all of that, plus obviously, I don't like the word psychic, I'm sorry, it's so happy. Uh, you can see in the future. I go backwards um, in my readings if you're new to me, and that's important. But you also, I get it in taste and in smell. That's the only time I hesitate, because I have to convert it into words, which is really annoying, but it's what they're giving, whoever gives me stuff. So basically, I read through energy, I don't go through guides, I don't through go through angels, whatever you want to call it. It's really dimensions. Who thinks there are only three dimensions? two dimensions or one dimension. Who thinks there's 20? Who thinks there's about kind of unlimited? I love you. That's right. Correct. And, you know, I've been saying this a long time. Um, that's how I read, is through dimensions. That's why my readings are different, because they're all dimensional. And it's like pieces of uh, filters I go through. So it's like a radar. I go backwards, forwards, wherever you are, I know what's going on. So. Um, and then again, universes. And this is all being proved through physicists, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm not, you know, it's hard for me to go ahead and um, say something uh, or predict something, but it's usually um, confirmed later, unfortunately. String theory. Sorry? String theory. Yeah, oh, it's more than, they have no idea. They haven't got the tip yet. But they have to, you know, put the underline, the dot, and that's the control. Or everything they have to do. <laughs> so you'll understand a larger amount of that after that. Um, so hopefully, uh, it's going. To, it is going to be better. But you know, do what I would strongly. I'll end up because I know the next lecture will be coming in a minute. Is I really please, please. Um, if you really want more control in your life, not looking at anybody for specific, but um, if you want more control, what I really strongly advise is that you start thinking about things in your immediate future, like in the next five weeks, to the next six months, to the next two years, and say, what do I need, and who, what I, do I need to be? Who do I need to be? And then you'll see, um, and again, I asked this question early, but who, would say that they're not the same person they were two months ago. You, they've changed that rapidly, and it's going to change. She's older, thank you. I can hear you. <laughs> but you are. We, we're changing so rapidly because we're changing our views and everything. All right. So we are being impacted, whether we like it or not. Right. So take that control, what little control you have, and say, okay, this is what I want. But don't say, I don't want this. You're concentrating on the negative when you say, don't, I, I don't want, right? Mm -hmm. Concentrate on what you love in your life, you know, the happiness, good friends, um, what I can control, and that I don't need to worry about all that extraneous stuff. And you'll find that your life is going to be happy, happier. And mm -hmm. when the real rock and roll horrible things happen on the news that's coming in July onwards, 
um, until about February. There's a huge chunk that, you know, put your head down. And I'm not going to talk about it too much. Um, because, yes, it affects us, but not in the way that you think it will. Only if you allow it to. And that's, again, what control, and I wrote, was writing yesterday, what control do I have over it? Nothing. So I might as well do what I can and just enjoy it. Does that make sense to everybody? So again, if you want, there's two, um, there's a signing sheet for the readings, but there's another one for the YouTubes. Um, and if you want, you can join, and then uh, in the book, I'll hopefully get out in the next few months, but it's near ready. I keep writing. If I stop writing, I'll do the book. I keep thinking it's stuff to do. But also, uh, the links I can send you, okay? And you'll see that everything there is um, meant to help you. It's not meant to hopefully impede you. Any questions quickly about two minutes? I just want to tell you, I've been uh, watching your YouTubes for quite some time oh. now. And uh, in regards to the weather, it's just you've just been so right on. And um, I'm a flight attendant, so um, I see. I, know. You, I go to areas, and I'll say, the weather shouldn't be like this. Oh my goodness, that's right. It goes back to what you were saying. We have more turbulence now than we ever have had, and they they keep warning us to be cautious. We have clear turbulence all the time. We never know when it's going to happen. So if you're flying, if anyone's flying, be cautious. Just be cautious because we are having a lot of people injured and flight attendants injured. Yeah. 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 Do you hear that? All right. November. November. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Just be careful. Okay. Um, but yeah, turbulence. And thank you because mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, I'm trying to give them information and not to scare them but show that you can relate and just by looking at hooking up energy. And that's what I'm trying to teach people. You are doing, you know, people are getting what I'm doing um, in the way of you're doing, experiencing it. I know you are. The last three months have been incredible for you, correct? I mean, in other words, it's been really expanding this kind of thing. So people are being aware. You have to take care of your own stuff. Okay, I know. If you can come in, I know I'm going to be. Okay. Before I get kicked Thank out downstairs. But anyway, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, I guess I'll be doing a workshop later. Maybe.